coral reefs are the rainforests of the sea. This ecosystem may be our best hope for the cure for cancer, heart disease, and a host of other human ailments. We may find these drugs on the reef. So today what we're doing is we're, we're making some measurements from the day boat using scuba diving. We're taking a water quality instrument called an XO2. And this is a really cool device that's got uh, all manner of probes that can measure dissolved oxygen and pH and the temperature and the salinity of the water. And one thing we're gonna try today for the first time is, is using it as a probe to measure the metabolism of some barrel sponges on the reef. The sponges are the, the oldest multicellular life on the planet. All the water on the coral reef passes through the body of a sponge every 24 to 48 hours. The sponge communities are really important on the reef. They're a, a really valuable uh, filter. As anybody who has a home pool knows, your pool will go green if you don't have a good filter cleaning the water in it. Sponges play a really important role in that. Those hard bottoms of the spurs are really where the sponges and the corals want to take hold. Sponges really like to have a, a nice hard substrate to anchor onto. So we're going to be looking at some of those areas and try to see if we can get a sense of, of what their preferred substrate environments are. And maybe we can find new medicines out there, new ways to treat uh, diseases, even new engineering systems for, for filtering or help develop reef systems in other places. So it really makes it exciting. It'd be a tragedy if we you know, lost the cure for cancer because we lost the components of the ecosystem. So that's why it's important to understand the functioning of the entire ecosystem and protect it because our well-being is at stake as a species.